Welcome to Bible Reader Companion. Our Bible reading this week is Romans chapters 2 through 11, and our memory verse is Romans chapter 6 and verse 23, which in the New King James Version reads, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. We talked a little bit yesterday about how the Jews had the mentality that because they were Jews, they were righteous and they condemned the Gentiles and their unrighteous behavior in spite of the fact that they were engaged in similar unrighteous behavior, Romans chapter 2. We want to look today in connection with this idea of the righteousness and the gift of God with the ultimate example or one of the, the great examples of faith, and that is Abraham. And it goes back to, to tying into the idea of the need for righteousness as well as the idea that it's not based on heritage or, or something of that nature. And we go back to Romans chapter 4. And beginning in verse 9, we're in the Apostle Paul says this. Does this blessedness then come upon the circumcised only or upon the uncircumcised also? For we say that faith was accounted to Abraham for righteousness. How then was it accounted while he was circumcised or uncircumcised? Not while circumcised, but while uncircumcised. And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith, which he had while still uncircumcised, that he might be the father of all those who believe, though they are uncircumcised, that righteousness might be imputed to them also, and the father of circumcision to those who not only are of the circumcision, but who also walk in the steps of the faith, which our father Abraham had while still uncircumcised. For the promise that he would be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if those who are of the law are heirs, faith is made void, and the promise is of no effect, because the law brings about wrath. For where there is no law, there is no transgression. Therefore it is of faith, that it might be according to grace, though the promise might be sure to all the seed, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham who is the father of us all. So how do we achieve this gift? We know it's through Christ. We know that the gift is in Christ, but Abraham set the perfect example. The example is an example of faith. Not that Abraham was perfect. We know Abraham made mistakes. We know that Abraham had failures and flaws. But what stood out and what made God choose Abraham was his faith. And that's why he was considered righteous. We're not perfect. And nothing we ever say is to imply that we're going to somehow suddenly be perfect. But rather that we have to have faith. We have to believe. We have to understand that righteousness is not found in the world and that we are in fact unrighteous until we have faith in Christ. And God chose Abraham while he was uncircumcised so that everyone would understand that the reason he chose Abraham was not because of circumcision, not because of his bloodline, not because of some physical feature, but because of his faith. As we pointed out yesterday, the Jews never understood this. They believed that they somehow were granted some inherent right to a relationship with God because Abraham was their physical father. That's never what God wanted. God demonstrated the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah to Abraham because of the wickedness of Sodom and Gomorrah in the hopes that his descendants would understand that what they needed to be was faithful and righteous, just like Abraham. We want the gift of God that is in Christ Jesus. We have to have the same kind of faith that Abraham had. Without it, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for thinking on these things, and we hope you'll join us again tomorrow. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.